Okay, this is another Flipper Artist Pokemon deck review. This time I'm reviewing my brother's custom Excavalier, um, Conkildur, Donphan, Fighting Metal type deck. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so, it's all sorted, so I won't, I think it's pretty sorted, so I won't have to go flipping through like I normally do. So, let's see what we have first. We have, uh, Solrock. He's not bad, you know. He can burn a Pokemon, and then he does kind of commit like a suicide type thing. He has this explosion attack that does 90, but then you have to, um, it does 90 to himself, so he's uh, knocked out to use that. Plus power, uh, it does an extra 10 damage. It gives uh, your Pokemon's attack another 10 damage. Um, actually, that's not bad if you have an attack like a collect or um, dual draw that normally doesn't do any damage, you know. Um, escape rope, both players have to switch their Pokemon. Um, full heal, remove any negative status, um, status conditions. Uh, energy retrieval. Uh, hypnotoxic laser, team plasma. Exclusive, lets you poison the uh, opposing Pokemon and flip a coin. Um, if heads, I believe, you put them to sleep. Um, a Pokeball, everyone knows how, how that works. Um, Asylum. Nice supporter lets you take three energy from your deck, put it into your hand. And I've got another silent of the Pokeball. A town map. This is an interesting card. It lets you um, look at your, flip your prize cards upside down, and they stay that way for the rest of the game. I think that's an awesome, awesome card. Because, you know, you never know what you're going to get in a prize card. Potion. Another potion. Another plus power. Pokemon communications. Um, energy search. A switch. Here we go. Here's the Pokemon. So I have Rog and Rolla up first. Let's see. It's got 60 HP. Um, harden. Uh, you prevent the damage done to Pokemon if it's below 40. So uh, unless the attack does over 40 damage, it uh, it's negated. And a typical um, high energy attack. But again, <clears throat> it's all right because he evolves into this thing. Baldur who does a smackdown, which actually does um, 60 damage more if they have a, a fighting um, weakness. So that makes it to a, 160. That's 160 damage. That's a lot. <clears throat> and a power gem, a 4 energy, 80 damage. And I think he actually evolves one more stage, but I don't know what into. We have a sock. His only attack is 5 fierce chops, but that could do 50 damage. So... That's not bad. Um, oh, my mistake. I could, do a, I could do 100. You have to flip 5 coins. We have a Clink. Um, who does re uh, he's a basic with 40, 40 HP. That's, that's, that's not that... I don't know. Um, Reckless Charge. But he does do 10 damage to himself. Um, Durant. Devour actually makes you, your opponent discard the top card of the deck. For every... Uh, for every... <laughs> sorry. For every... Um, each of the Durants in play, so you could have up to, uh, yeah, you could have up, you could, our opponent could uh, technically uh, discard up to four cards because of that card. Carablast. Now this is an interesting card. Mysterious Evolution lets you search your deck for, um, wait, hold on, if Shelmet is in play, search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto this Pokemon. That's interesting. I don't think he has Shelmet, so uh, he can't use that. This deck would be complete if he did have Shelmet, but I guess he doesn't. And Fairy Attack, it could do 30. It's another coin flip. Uh, another Carablast. Um, the Colorless Dr Dredagon. I don't know if this is the new one or the old one. Because there's, there's a Dragon type one, too. Rough Skin basically just... Um, it, it gives your opponent uh, 20 damage if they attack him. And Clutch does uh, 60 damage and you can't retreat next turn. Your opponent can't retreat. You have some energy. Uh, here's another Clink. This one looks... A little better. Rigify, which means that uh, damage done to this Pokemon is reduced by 20. And Vice Grip, which does 20. Then he evolves into Clang, who does uh, who can confuse a Pokemon and also does 60 damage uh, with Guard Press, which is uh, reduced by 20. And then he has Clink Clang, which does Charge Beam, which can uh, actually basically does 30 damage and you can attach another energy to him. Zap Cannon does 80. And, uh, but there is a catch. You have to flip a coin, and if tails, you can't use Zap Cannon next turn. Here we go. Excavalier. Or Escavalier. 
is a really, really cool card. First off, we have Guard Press, which has 90, 90 hit points. Guard Press does 40, and uh, as usual, it reduced by 20. And Twin Needle, which can actually do 140, but it's another coin flip attack. He's not bad, and then he has a, um, a foil, a foil sparkly one. Some more energy, another Durant with the same attacks. Um, another one, um, a Skarmory. That's an interesting metal type. 100 HP. Uh, he can confuse a Pokemon, uh, the defending Pokemon with Metal Sound, and uh, Swift, which isn't um, affected by any uh, weakness or resistance. So then we have Hitman Lee. I believe he's one of the um, evolutions of some other weaker fighting type, but this is before they made him an evolution, I guess. He can do kick and high jump. They're not bad. He has 80 HP, and for 60, I definitely use 3 um, energy for that. Here we have Donfin, spinning turn, 40 damage, but you do have to switch him with a benched Pokemon in a wreck. Which could do, which had the capability of doing 130, 40, 100, mm. yeah, 140 damage if you had a, if you had a um, stadium in play. We have, sorry, we have some energy over here. Lots of energy. Oh, sand dial, a foil sand dial. So this guy does sand trap, and uh, your your opponent can't retreat next turn, and bite does 30. He then evolves into Krokorok, um, who does Torment, which is 10 damage, and you can choose when you're po the defending Pokemon's attacks, and you can't use it next turn, and Bite for 50. And finally, Crocodile, and he, the he again has Torment, but this time it's 30 damage, and uh, Crocorol, which uh, could do 100 damage if the uh, defending Pokemon already had damage on him. He's not a bad card at all, and he's got 140. He's, he's stronger than Reshiram in terms of hit points. Then we have a Timber uh, with a knockback that does uh, 20 damage and forces your opponent to switch in a low kick that does 40. Then Girder with Bulk Up, which uh, does 20 damage, and next time uh, this Pokemon's attacks both do 20 damage more, so Pound would do 80, Bulk Up would do 40. Conk Elder, finally, with a Facade which means that uh, if this Pokemon is burned or poisoned, the attack does 60 more damage. And Drain Punch, which heals 20 damage in addition to 80. And then we have, of course, Little Fampy, who um, Donfin evolves from, and he does Tackle and Roll Out for 50. That's actually pretty strong for a basic Pokemon. So that's his whole deck, and I've played against this one uh, quite a few times. It used to be a Fighting Only, and then he got the um, Noble Victories, uh, Victorious Knights or Fierce Knights or something. What, what is it? I don't know. Furious. Furious Knights. I'm sorry. The box is right there. See, it's got, it's got Excavalier on it. Anyway, so there are all the trainers, which my sister just rummaged through. The Pokemon and the energy. Uh, so next time, I think I'm going to... Well, first of all, I, wait. Before I do that, I have to rate this deck. And I've never played with it, like I said, so I can't give a full... Like, um, I can't, you know, I can't really say whether the strategy, there are, what type of strategies are available for this, but I can guess. And what I would do is, first off, try to get, um, Donfin or Cl uh, Clink Clang out first. Where is he? Because those are, those two are pretty powerful. Conkleder is pretty good too, especially if your opponent has, um, is, uh, has a lot of psychic or bug types, which do poison a lot. And uh, even even against fire Pokemon like my deck, because it can be burned. He's a good card. Uh, Crookerol, Crookerol, basically get out any of the stage twos first, and then, um, and then I think you'll be okay. But this 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 deck doesn't have a super ton of uh, basic Pokemon. It has a lot of stage one and stage twos. So I don't know. Anyway, uh, for this deck, uh, uh, for if I was going to rate it 1 to 10, I'd give it a 7.5, just because um, it's it's good, but it, I think it could be improved a little bit, just maybe by getting a Shelmet in there, so you could use the Mysterious Evolution the ability of Carol Blast and get a Scavalier out, perhaps, in your first turn, and it could probably use um, 
a couple more um, trainers that weren't just like a potions or oh wait it could probably use another Pokemon communication or um, like a Professor Juniper or something but whatever I guess he likes it um, he actually has another deck he wants me to review later so like I said this deck gets a 7 out of uh, 7 foot 5 out of 10 it's not a starter deck so I guess that's that's a pretty good reading rating for a, um, a non starter deck anyway um, next time I'll be reviewing uh, either another stutter deck or my brother's black carrium deck with an, with an ace spec card which he just that was just a pull from a, um, a random pack so all right so I'm just gonna finish this up and uh, next time I'll do another deck review